Seek to Speak. Going into TV was something that was accidental for me. Uh, but at the same time, when I got into it, it was so natural. And of course, it's because I was always like, no shame lah. You put a camera in front of me, I will do anything. On. Don't worry. No problem. I'm not shy. Give me a mic. That's it. It's over, right? But being on TV came with a whole lot of other problems. And it was, of course, it's a very looks-oriented industry. There's a lot of pressure to look a certain way. And yes, I did not look the certain way. Um, I was very short, um, not your typical TV face, and it's fine. Nothing I can do about it, right? <laughs> and so back then, before there was too much social, there was some social media that time Facebook baru je nak naik, okay? Uh, um, a lot of people wrote emails to us, and yes, during the time, uh, the years that I've uh, been on TV, there were letters coming in saying, uh, mentioning things about my looks, talking about can you get these ugly people off TV? Uh, things that were quite hurtful. And of course, you I will I will be lying if I said I was not hurt by these things, comments like that. And you sometimes there are also practices within the industry as well that will make you that will belittle you in indirectly or make you feel like, yeah, you're not really it or you're not good enough. And you have to make up for it in some other way because you're not good looking. So you have to be super talented and you have to really overcompensate, right? You will have some, uh, I've had stylists that will look at other hosts who look your typical way. And then me, and then look again, look again. And they say, ah, at least you're not fat, you know? And you're just like, oh my what? <laughs> And you know, yes, you must have very thick skin and you have to be so sure of yourself. Um, one of the things that when I used to also train a brand new host for TV um, was you have to be yourself and you have to be authentic. And if this is something you really want to do, put yourself out in the public face, you need to be ready. Um, it's not, uh, it's not going to be easy. There will be haters out there. But for every hater, there's going to be someone that actually likes you for who you are. So you need to try and always tweak your mind to the positive. There will be messages that will damage your self-esteem. Yes, of course, they will keep like... <laughs> and you just fight back. Rhino skin. Engage the mode. Defense shield. Woo, right? And you have to cover. You have to trust your abilities. Go out there and do it. Sometimes I do get nervous. Um, there were times where I feel, oh my God, I don't look as good as everyone else. Um, I'm going to go live in front of like thousands of people or whatever. And I just tell myself, okay, there's some things I can't control. Can't do anything about it, but I know what I'm going to do out there. I'm going to do my job and I'm going to do the best job that I can do. And that's all. If you're going to let something like what other people think of the way you look, um, get into your head, then you're in your own head and you're not going to do a good job. And then you fail both ways. You lose both ways. But if you get out there and you're like, Okay, I'm going to do it. So what? If you don't like the way I look, change the channel lah. Turn off the thing lah. So what? Other people watch me anyway because they like what I do. <laughs> you know? So maybe being stubborn <laughs> is one way. But ah, the entertainment industry and now we're looking at it with through the social media and influencer industry. Trust me, girls. People that you see in these public spheres are not what they look like at home. <laughs> a lot of work has gone into it, okay? Whether it's just through a filter or other ways, okay? Um, try not to give in to these things. I think it's just, they're very damaging as well. Um, just focus on enjoying what you do. Um, if this is something you really want, you need to be really strong, but be confident in the messages that you're bringing out. What exactly is your purpose of being out there? Is it just to be popular? Not good enough. You need to have a purpose and with purpose and being authentic, then you can really stand up. And I think that will stand through the test of time. Even if you have wrinkles, if you have eye bags, even if by that time, everything goes saggy, mush, mush, whatever, no problem. People will still appreciate you for who you are. And that's going to stay. Seek to speak. Mm -hmm.